Good morning, folks. This is Athletes Incorporated. You can catch us on IBTV.us, also on Roku, and on YouTube. Got lots to talk about today. Let's get right to it. We're going to talk about the NFL and what's going on, the crazy stuff there. Listen, Tram, first thing. Okay, so first thing I want to talk to you about, a lot has been going on with free agency. Uh, we can't get to all of it in 10 minutes, but number one, as you know, Kirk Cousins signed uh, $84 million guaranteed deal with the Vikings. The Broncos got Case Keenum for two years, $36 million, $25 million guaranteed. Good deal. Great deal. Um, A.J. McCarron is with the um, Buffalo, Buffalo Bills. Bills. Tyrod Taylor's with the Cleveland Browns. And um, I just kind of wanted to talk about... And who did Sam Bradford sign? Sam Bradford signed a one-year deal with the um, Arizona Cardinals, Cardinals for right. $20 million. He's right. one of the, you know, he's one of the highest paid quarterbacks right. ever. Oh, he's made money in his yeah. money. He's made money. Um, and there's been a lot of other things going on. Who do you think is the biggest winners in free agency right now? I would say for the money right now, I think the Broncos are. Yeah. That they got him for $36 million. That means they don't have to get a quarterback now. Yeah. So they keep all of their draft choices. That's where the big win is. Right. They keep all their draft choices. They didn't bust the bank. Right. Paying Cousins, uh, wow. $84 million. That's just three unbelievable. Years. Uh, oh, and Alex Smith goes Alex to, to the Washington Redskins. Um, so all of these people just moving around, all these different pieces and parts moving around. But what it does, it sets up what's going to go on with the draft and who's going to pick number one. Now, we still have Cleveland Browns with the number one. They always seem to mess it up. The Jets moved up to Yeah, the Jets moved, 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 moved up to number three. three. Now, what, what was the deal they got? They the got Jets. two. The Jets, uh, the Indianapolis Colts switched to six. They switched their, fir their third and six, and they get their two second-round picks this year and one second-round pick next year. That's what the Colts are getting, and that's what the Jets are getting. So now that's And the only reason you would give that much up is if there's one person, not two, that you have designated that you want. So they want a quarterback. Right. I would say right now, if Cleveland Browns do not draft Saquon Barkley number one, they are really in trouble. Uh, they're the only two people with him or else the biggest, baddest offensive line, but they cannot take the quarterback. So here, here's one because they have two number ones. Yeah, they have two. They have one number. They have the the, the first one number and the fourth. At first and the fourth. So I'm kind of changing gears, and we weren't going to plan on talk about this, but it's, we're here now, so we're going to talk about a number one pick in the draft for you, Cleveland Browns, Saquon Barkley. Yeah. Number two is the Jets. Who are they taking? The Jets. They're going to take quarterback. Okay. Who, so who would you think? Now they did. They moved up, right? No, the Jets. I mean, I mean not the Jets. The Jets excuse me, the Giants. So the Giants, right there. So, the Giants, I don't believe they're going to take a quarterback. I think they think that uh, uh, Manning's going to stay a couple more years. Okay. So they're going to take a lineman. That's what I think. So they'll take Nelson. Because they got, take they got Solder. Right. They'll take Nelson. So they'll take Nelson. Number three, we've got the Jets. Who do they take? The Jets are going to take uh, – the Jets didn't move up. Did, did, did they switch? The Jets switched with the Colts. So yeah. they're third. The Jets now. are whichever one the quarterback that they're uh, enamored with. So okay. that's going to be Josh. Uh, the kid the Josh's. Josh's. Yeah. The Josh's. The Josh's or – uh, I don't think they'll take the kid from SC. No, he, yeah. he's just not ready. Sam Darnold? Okay. I think they're going to take UCLA. Okay. So, so number one, we got Saquon Barkley. Two, we have Quentin Nelson. Number three, we've got, let's say, Josh Allen. He's got the biggest, strongest arm. Now we have the number four pick, which is the, the Cleveland Browns again. Cleveland Browns again. They've got, if they take Barkley, then they've got, I think they're going to take Chubb. Okay. So they take Bradley Chubb. Who is that big, fantastic D tackle, folks? Check him out on YouTube. So number five, we have the Broncos now. Uh -huh. Now, my question for you is, who, what do the Broncos do? Do they move back? Because they've been talking with the Bills to move back and get the 21st and 22nd pick as well as a second rounder, or do they stay there? Okay. So what they do is it becomes down a matter of, are we going to stockpile and take as many good young players as we can, right. or are we going to take one that we're going to, Put make a bell cap. Okay. If they do that, then they take the best available offensive lineman. Okay. Or they go ahead and that, or they trade and go down. Down. Okay. And then they have two picks lower down at the head. They have their two number twos. They have two number twos right now, folks. Right. Plus the number two that they'll get from Buffalo, right? Right. So that would be a lot of really, really quality young players that could play for a long time if they do that. I'd be satisfied with both of them. 
Mm. I think I think both both uh, things would, would would work out. The biggest thing for the Broncos, the best thing for the Broncos, and that's why I think they're the biggest winners right now is they took care of the huge problem of having the quarterback, of having a quality quarterback, mm. and they have a real quality quarterback. Now, sitting at five, if they don't move back, there's two players I want you guys to keep your eyes on. Um, there's a player named Derwin James from Florida State, folks. And when I'm talking about a sure-fire, all-pro, free safety, 6'3", 240 pounds, runs a 4'4". He's amazing. He can, he's a hybrid. Now, did they weigh, weigh him at 240? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. See, I'm sorry. I, th I thought he was down around 210 to 15. How much does the kid from Alabama weigh? I'm not sure. Mink, and the kid from Alabama's name is Mink Fitzpatrick. So at five, you've got two surefire lead your defense for 10 years oh, yeah. on the back end. Yeah. So we've got a great back end defense. What do you do? Do you take those? Do you take that best available at five? No, if, if the Broncos, if they stay there, they have right. to take the best available. If they go with one person, they don't. Stockpile, they have to take the best available offensive lineman. I don't think they can afford to, to take one of those people. They right. must take, because then they can move the young kid to the right side, was where he should be. Right. They get a big left tackle. Right. They have anchors there. Mike McGlinchey, folks, yeah. from they Notre Dame. Him. Check because him out. Because they're probably, the because the, the, off, the new offensive line coach is from the University of Texas El Paso. Right. He really loves the kid. That's the, and he's William a great kid. Hernandez. William Hernandez. Yeah. So we're going to get him. That would be three really great young linemen. Right. you got a good quarterback. Right. There's going to be a running back there for you. Right. Uh, they, things look really well for them. If they make the right picks, things look really well for them, in my opinion. And the more, and we talked about it a little bit off camera, but the more we talk about running backs, you love Saquon Barkley. Everybody loves Saquon Barkley. I've been actually watching a lot of tape on Kalen Balaj, and I really like him and what he can do. He's really what Le Le'Veon Bell was at Michigan State. He's a bigger back. They're going to put some weight on him. I think he's only 220 or so or right. 210. But he's six but he should, Yeah, but he shouldn't weigh more than 230. Yeah. The only thing that you have to think about a, a kid like Balaj, man, is his, his physical stats are beautiful. Mm -hmm. And he has the eight touchdowns in one game. Right. But other than that, there's not a whole lot to hang your hat on except potentially what he has. I've never seen him return a punt or a kickoff. He does kickoff returns. He's um, return kickoffs for okay. touchdowns. Um, but uh, uh, Saquon Barkley, the thing that I have with Saquon Barkley, folks, I thought he had too much mileage on him, but he doesn't. Right. He doesn't have a lot of mileage on him. So um, relatively fresh, no injuries, mm -hmm. no off-the-field uh, craziness that's going on. He's going to come in. He's going to be a leader. Uh, He's, he's not good, but no, uh, unless it's hidden, there's no drug problems, there's no alcohol problems. Um, good kid, good family, uh, good grades. Uh, you know, it'd be hard to find a, a running back. And he's, he, look, uh, man, I mean, he, he looks like a running back. He, oh, yeah. he really does. He, he, he looked great in any uniform. Oh, absolutely. But, uh, you know, with him, I, I, but the draft always shakes out funny. And it'll be one of the funny things, and we're kind of closing up, but one of the funny things is, I, I'm predicting Sam Darnold and Baker Mayfield fall to the way bottom. I think, I think something about those two guys is just a little. People aren't sure on that. Well, I'm gonna tell you this, folks. If Sam Darnold doesn't get taken right away, he and Baker Baker Mayfield anyway, for sure, they will fall to the second round. Yeah, they will fall to the second. And round. I think Lamar Jackson gets picked in the first round. He might around 24, 25. He might. He might get picked. I think. I think he's going to fall to the second round too, man. Yeah. I believe all of those quarterbacks. There's just not really. I wouldn't take even if I were the Jets or whoever the the Jets have trade made to move up. There's no quarterback that I feel is is a franchise quarterback in this group. Right. I just don't feel like it. Mm -hmm. And if you don't put, you put that boy out there too early, he's he's going to be shell shocked. Right. You know, you let him get beat up. Uh, you can see how great the Rams did holding yeah. that boy for a year. And everybody's saying, playing, playing, playing. They and didn't. they just got better, too. We didn't even talk about yeah. the moves they made, but they've got two all-pro um, corners, Marcus Peters and Aqib Talib. Yeah. The AFC, they got so much better. They've got their quarterback. Yeah. They've got their running back. Yeah. They've got oh. great receivers. Yeah. And They're ready to go. And they were players of the year on both yeah. sides of the ball. Yeah. It's unbelievable. And Talib will solidify the whole thing. You know, Wade Phillips loves, loves him. him. Yeah. And he knows how to deal with him. He knows how to handle him. He will be all. It's going to be unbelievable. Yeah. That's that that uh, what was going to go out with LA. They really came out great in the free agent uh, market too. Yeah. Just right behind the Broncos, as far as I'm concerned. Another big loser. We we got ten seconds left, but Seattle Seahawks. 
they are looking bad. The the Seahawks aren't getting better. The Niners are getting better. LA is getting better. It's going to be a tough, tough, tough time. But we're going to close up, folks, and we're going to start talking about March Madness. So stay tuned with us next.